1957 Jefferson Nicol in uncirculated condition. Graded in mean state 67 with full steps by PCGS. Vintage quantities of nickels increased greatly in 1957. Two means Philadelphia and Denver produced over 176 million Jefferson nickels. As a date, the 1957 nickel is abundant and if showing moderate to heavy wear, they have minimal collector's value. They seldom come about in sharply struck with full definition on Monticello steps. In mid state 67 with full steps, they are almost unheard of with only four specimens reported by PCGS so far. These lustrous specimens ended up selling for $15,187.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1910S Lincoln Cent in mint state 67 red condition. Early San Francisco issues are some of the most difficult dates in Lincoln Cent series to acquire in high grade red condition. The 1910S is surpassingly far rarer in this condition than the key date 1909 SVDB. This piece displays frosty, nearly flawless luster and sharp design elements. The surfaces have bright yellow gold luster with overtones of honey and peach coloration. Eye appeal is outstanding. Sold for $18,800 at Heritage Auctions. Jumping onto this rare error coin, 1977 the Eisenhower dollar in mid state 63, struck on a 40% silver planchette. The famous transitional error. The Denver Mint was responsible for preparing the 40% silver dollar planchets earmarked for the San Francisco Mint's production of Bicentennial Ike dollars. Regular copper nickel clad planchets were prepared as well for D Mint Eisenhower dollars, but no silver clad planchets were to be struck at the Denver facility. About 20 examples of this wrong planchet error are sought to exist. This is one of the ultra-rare modern error coins sharply struck and brilliant with a few small marks to earn a select uncirculated grade. It was sold for $21,600 at Heritage Auctions. Here is relatively modern scent, 1994 Lincoln and Penny in mid state 69 red. They were over 6.5 billion 1994 P. Lincoln cents struck for circulation, therefore Locating uncirculated specimens should not be a problem. But MS69 refers to a coin that's almost perfect or in near mint condition. While it may not have the significant numismatic value, it can be a valuable addition to a coin collection or as a good investment. The value of the coin depends on various factors such as rarity condition and demand by collectors. This superb gem ended up selling for $12,674 and 25 cents with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is attractively told 1954 as Roosevelt done, graded in mint state 68 plus by PCGS. It has no full bands designation, meaning the torch bands on reverse are not fully struck. The 1954 S Roosevelt done in MS68 plus condition is highly sought after coin among collectors. This particular coin is known for its stunning luster and sharp strike. One of the factors that makes this coin so rare is its condition. MS68 Plus is considered an extremely high grade, and there are not many of these coins. This gem was bargained for $5,906.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1999 D. Susan B. Anthony Dollar in Mint State 69. Another brilliant and circulated superb gem lacking just one point for absolute numismatic perfection. In 1999, the mint struck over 29 million Susan B. Anthony dollars at Philadelphia Mint. Therefore, the 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar is very common and examples in uncirculated grades are easily obtainable. However, MS69 condition is of utmost rarity. PCGS hasn't reported any MS69 specimens so far. This rare coin inside NGC slab ended up selling for $2764.20 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Take care.